Ghana? Well, uh, first of all, let me say good afternoon to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, we are very pleased that you've invited us for such a wonderful interview. Yeah. We came here for a purpose, for the fair of S V U M fair, which is being attended by a lot of African countries. Yes. And I even some from the diaspora. That's the Zambia and the what they call it. That's uh, Bangladesh and yes. other places. Yes. So I'm also a chief in Ghana. Yes, yes. A paramount chief in Ghana and uh, we also need investors okay. to develop our country. Yeah. The government have said we need one district, one factory. Okay. And as Ghana is a, an agriculture country, okay. we have to find investors to help us. Okay. And we know in you the... You use resources, natural resources. You are in Ghana, Poco is worth the best. Yeah, exactly. Poco is in that's, Ghana. That's, yeah. We have a lot of... I think you have a diamond mine also there. Diamond, we have diamond in Ghana. Okay. We have gold in Ghana. We have uh, cashew in Ghana. Okay. We have cocoa in Ghana. Okay. Ghana is the second world leading producer of cocoa. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, if we are not... We have been able, if you have investors to help us okay. so that we can uh, manufacture some of the cocoa to become yes. chocolates and other things. Right, right. Yes, it will uh, be very, very people useful. Are, people are worrying about, uh, particularly in African countries, yes. for safety reasons and all these things. That they and again, uh, Ghana is very, very peaceful. Okay. When you invest there, there is no problem. Okay. So we want people to know our culture too. As a chief, how I put on my traditional dress and other oh, things. Oh, yes. That yeah. can also be useful to tourism so that we can develop all these other sectors. Okay. Uh, how is the infrastructure is there? Uh, apart from Accra, how is the infrastructure in Ghana? For infrastructure, how is the uh, roads and all these things? The roads. Ro roads and uh, how is the rail railway? Yeah, that's what we are also fighting for because not all the roads are good. Okay. So if we can get investors who can also help in to build the roads and other things too, it will help us. Okay. Okay, and uh, uh, you need the investor who come there and um, uh, make the uh, uh, chocolates and all these things. Yes. You have the richest, uh, in quality wise, it's the richest co cocoa in Ghana, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, why don't uh, uh, African countries, European countries and USA uh, come down there? What do you think? Why they are not coming there? European countries and uh, uh, the USA become we, we have few of them. Okay. But we have to go around and tell people what we can do okay. and what they can also help us to do. That's why we came for such a fair. Okay. Uh, how is the stability, political stability? Is That's why no perfect. Problem. There's no problem at all. Okay. Since 1992, okay. that we, we came back to the democratic uh, era, we've been able to change three government, this is the fourth one. Okay. And uh, whenever there is election, after the elections, everything goes on smoothly. Oh, very nice, yeah. very nice. And uh, what about the Tikkud? Your Tikkud is very richest in the world. And... Uh, ah, Tikkud, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have Tik also in Ghana. Okay. We have uh, some plantations. And that's what we are also saying. We yes. have the land there. Yes, yes. And if they can also do their forestation. Yes. So that we can plant more of the teak. Oh, very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm ready to give land for all this. Oh, very things. nice. That's why very nice. Very nice. I'm here. Very nice. For long term, is you are uh, able to give the land to the, um, somebody who they want to invest in there. Once more. Invest, invest in there. there. You will, you will give the land to them. Yes. On a rich basis. I've already given basis. a site about 100 hectares. Okay. As an industrial hub, whoever, whoever wants to put up okay. any factory there, okay. the land is already there. Okay. And uh, what are the other opportunities for uh, uh, agriculture? That's you see, in Ghana, 
Mice 2 is the third, is having the third largest land in Ghana. Okay. And uh, we have the opportunity for land, whoever wants to come and make any agriculture purpose, any, uh, that's the reforestation and everything, is we are ready okay. to help. And uh, okay. the land is there. What I want us to do is that I don't want to lease it out. I want us to be part of the company. Okay. We, so we give the land as okay. an equity okay. so that whatever we are doing, we are also part of it. Oh, and yes. it will yes. help. So you are uh, actively participating in all, all these activities. People are coming for there. You are ready to uh, cooperate every day. Exactly. One of your uh, citizens come, came there the other time. They uh, initiate all this program for okay. me to come down for such an uh, all important uh, okay. seminar. Yeah, uh, for uh, some reason, yeah, other reason for Tikur, people are thinking that there is a um, gang or there is the, some gangs or there people cannot uh, take over Tikur from there without their uh, interference. Is there any situation that they have? Yes. Exactly. That's what I. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> if you go through the right hand arm, okay. as I'm here, okay. and being the custodian of the land, right. and if you come through me, yes. through the uh, AGI, okay. they will lead you, and uh, I don't think there will be any uh, interference in the uh, activities. Okay. It's only that we have to go through the right channel. Yes, yes. The right on the right track. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So okay. that everything okay. will be okay. Okay. And uh, which are the other uh, area where people, uh, government is uh, supporting for the uh, investors? Yes. Which yeah. are the other areas where you are protecting the investors? The government is ready to protect the investors. Okay. As the new government which came in just last January, 7th January. Okay. Just he now. he yeah. is ready to cooperate with all investors who okay. come on okay. to invest in Ghana okay. so that we are saying one district, one factory. We yeah. don't have machines. Okay. Have 210 districts. Yes. Okay. So okay. if you are having 210 districts and you are, you are saying every district should have a factory so that yeah. they can manufacture something. And if you are not going to cooperate with them, how will it be possible? possible. So yes. definitely exactly. the possibility of the government supporting all investors okay. is highly Okay. In place. And uh, what is about the uh, rulers and uh, uh, king? As I'm sitting now, what, 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 how, do, how, do, how do you see me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. okay. Between the rulers and government. Yes. Yeah, that's There's a good relationship. Yes, yes. We have a ministry of chief yes. yes. You are the prince uh, over there, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, you are looking up to the all the government is pro working properly. Is there yeah. uh, how much power you have for that's controlling the government? Uh, that's what we're saying. The government cannot take my land to give it to an investor without consulting okay. me. Okay. So definitely, we are working hand in hand okay. with the government. Okay. Okay. And uh, as we asked, uh, I'm saying the government says one district, one factory. Okay. We need work for our people. Okay. So we are ever ready to help in all those. Okay. How much land you have? How much you will uh, ready to give somebody? It depends on what you want to do. Yeah. When we for example, we want the uh, pharmacy is there, uh, agricultural process is there. We will have sugar cane. We want, for example, in exactly. We have all these things. We have land. We see Ghana. Uh, mm -hmm. We have land. Which some places are a bit swampy. Okay. So you can grow it there throughout the whole year. You'll be harvesting it. Yeah. Uh, sugar cane and other things. Okay. And what is about the okay. temperature? Just Sorry. If I want to explain it further. Okay. The land uh, for a product is dependent on the output of what you want to do. Okay. So yes. assuming you want to manufacture or invest in yeah. the product. For example, in Sudan, yeah. people are you know, growing sugar cane. They need so around 50,000 acres. Yes. Because the process, the whole process is going there. Yeah. See, from manufacturing raw to finished product, if it, this will be the happen, then the employment will be generated. After all, you are doing for yeah. employment, right? Yeah. You want to see people should be employed. Exactly. So, right? So, for that, you need some bulk in the land, so viability will be there. Yeah. Right? So and what is about the taxation structure? How is the tax, you are charging the tax here? What is the, uh, uh, the exemptions are there? 
of important for long term. That's what that's what I'm saying. Yes. So far as we are going to be, it's going to be a co uh, joint uh, yes. facility. Yes. And uh, the government too have said that it's going you to have the power and you can uh, exactly. Uh, energy. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you are saying you have you want to have one district with a, a, a factory, okay. and how can you? Put taxes on uh, materials whereby the people cannot come and work. Exit, exit, exit. So definitely, who, any government which is in power. Yeah, you want to grow. Exactly. After all, you want to exactly. be happy. People should be to get more employment. People should be happy, and uh, for all that, we have to exactly. anywhere we have to do this all these things. Yes. And uh, what is about the uh, mineral opportunity for minerals and uh, uh, mines activity? Yeah, you see Ghana was formerly called Gold Coast. Before 1957, it was called Gold Coast. Okay. Why was it called Gold Coast? Which means, when the uh, Asian people came to Ghana, they were buying gold at the coast. Okay. So Ghana is full of gold. Okay. The minerals are there. Ashanti Gold. Okay. We have a big mines factory oh. at Obwase. Okay. We have other one at the Pristia. Yes. You are allowing private, uh, private people to come yes. in uh, yeah. joint venture with you? Uh, yeah. Okay. The mining also you want there. Yeah. And uh, uh, which are the minerals are available there? Which are the minerals? Mm. That's what I'm saying. We have gold. Okay. We have bauxite. Okay. We have uh, diamond. Okay. We have manganese. Okay. Is so there any cement factory is there? Is there any cement factory? Cement factory cement, is there? Cement, cement factory, yeah. We are having one there. but. If you are ready to put up, an Indian organization has just established one diamond cement. Yeah, yeah diamond cement. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. in from a, it's a, yeah. an Indian organization, yeah. okay. and then a German company is also building one okay. in Ghana. Yeah. So at least now we have about three uh, okay. Indian uh, uh, cement factories in Ghana because we have a large deposit of limestone. Limestone. Yes, yes, yes. And to I think you have the richest quality of the uh, limestone is there. I think. Yes, it's and the to, the richest quality is there. To add to what uh, Nana is saying, we have the deposit of uh, gypsum, okay. which is not being utilized. Right. We have a uh, deposit of there's a beach, a coast, right. where if you pick the sand and okay. you hit it to a certain level, you can get glass. Right, right. Definitely. definitely. But the technology or the uh, means to okay. manufacture them into end products and all that. We have rubber, and we sell the rubber in the raw state. Okay. So we need to move away from just selling uh, raw materials into finished products. Mm -hmm. In uh, the last area, we have uh, a lot of bamboo. Okay. And we came to here yes. and we yeah. realized you use a lot of insects. Okay. And the insect sticks, sticks are made of bamboo sticks. Right. Right. So he has given a, a land okay. for an Indian partner, okay. a blue board from Rajkot here oh, to yes. set up, uh, okay. how do we call it, uh, a factory, factory, factory in this area. Okay. So the opportunities are there yeah. to add to the security and other things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, foreigners are protected. Okay. It is safe for you to go out anytime, anywhere okay. without anybody asking okay. you any question. Okay. When you go by the rules of the country. Okay. If you fall contrary to it, no, definitely, then, definitely. Then love, you have to do. follow the rules. It's, that it's is about nature. So you know, few, few Indians come to Ghana okay. and they want to do smart business. So okay. they meet the super smart guys. Okay. And they deal with their okay. themselves uh, okay. in the same way. Okay. So if you want to go through that. Yeah. There's a big pharmaceutical company yes. that owned by Indians. All the rubber yeah. plastic manufacturing companies yeah. are owned by Indians. Okay. The steel manufacturing companies are owned by Indians. Okay. So there are many organizations. Okay. That one executive member of Association of Ghana Industry is an Indian. Okay. One of the founding members of the Association of Ghana Industries is an Indian. Indian yeah, yeah. Yes. So how is the climate? Climate is. It's like okay. India. Like India, okay. Uh, <laughs> tropical temperature is there. Yes, exactly. right. yes. Tropical rainfall and the okay. dry season. And the uh, rainfall, generally season is, rainfall, yes, rainfall yeah. season is, yeah. uh, generally June to this, you know, between March, March to, to October. 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 March to October, it's a very long mm -hmm. season, yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how you feel here, how you think about what is the opportunity here I was highly 
uh, please, yesterday when the the Prince of Right Court came yeah. to the seminar, okay. and uh, in fact he have even invited me this evening to have a dinner with him. Okay. So we, I'm very much pleased, and uh, oh, yes. yeah, I hope good things will come out of this yes. uh, visit, and uh, yeah. uh, we hope to establish a joint sister country relationship for okay. our culture to thrive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, how you see this the seminar is going on? You first of all, you, when you invited and uh, uh, leaders have came over there, what do you think? First of all, what is your first reaction? What? What was your first reaction <laughs> when you heard of the conference? Oh, well, <laughs> in fact, this is the first time of coming to India. Right. And uh, well, I didn't expect it to be as I've seen it. Okay. Even how they receive whoever sees me, wants to come near me, and uh, it's very nice. Yes. It has been a very nice yes. visit to so you, you the are hospitality. Hoping, you are hoping that there is very huge opportunity for us to have some joint ventures and some, so we can, both are, we can progress over there. So you are inviting all Indians. Yes. We, we come over there and yes. we, do, we have a joint to do the work. Exactly. So we can grow. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. we can grow together. Okay. You have the, the technology, you have the experts here okay. to help Ghana. Okay. We have the raw materials, we don't have the okay. machines and everything. So if we come together, you will benefit, I also benefit. Yeah, yeah, sure. Both, both are the women position. Both are the women position. Yeah. Both will be the women position. Yes. You yeah. are right? Yeah. Yes. So it is going to be a win win situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. And uh, what's it, the people are from uh, education system is there? How is the education system working? Education. On? Education at uh, Ghana, how is the education working? Very, on? very good. And uh, okay. I want people to, we see we have a, we are having a nursing training at our end there. Okay. And I know Indians have improved very much. So yes. I'm going to have a very nice discussion with okay. the Prince of Red Court this evening, if uh -huh. he, we can, have some exchange program, so that strong exchange program is also there. Yeah. Okay, and, and uh, uh, among mm -hmm. our delegation, okay, we have one doctor, okay, doctor who owns a 65 bed hospital, oh, fresh, okay. and he came here purposely to look for an Indian partner, okay, to specialize in uh, kidney transplants oh, yes. and the rest. Mm -hmm. So he's among the team. Okay. There's one other guy to whose father owns a 42-bed hospital okay. who is also looking for collaboration okay. to, with India. There's okay. one delegate who is into waste management, treating waste into to right. yes, recycle, into recycle okay. to use. So okay. we, ha we came with 19 okay. delegates okay. from all the various uh, okay. sectors. We came with the chief executive of the Association of Ghana Industries. Okay. It is the association umbrella that protects all the industries yes. in Ghana. Okay. So that if an Indian wants to do business, the first point of call, okay. even before you go to Nana, is the Association of Ghana Industries. Okay. You tell the association what you intend to do. Okay. Then they tell you if it is for peanuts, go okay. to this area. When okay. you go there, talk okay. to this person. Okay. We came to, with the chief executive of the association. Okay. So we have come to bridge that yeah, yeah, I, I understood, I understood. Yes. For that, his highness is coming over here. Yes. Right? Yes. If uh, for going, coming over here, uh, we can get uh, huge opportunities, we can grow simultaneously. Yeah. Right? Uh, what, apart from India, which are the countries people are over there? Oh, well, we have almost all the countries consulates located in Ghana. Okay. Ghana has been described as the gateway to West Africa. Okay. So even the Indian High Commission in Ghana, okay. if you go to Togo and you need visa, you collect the documentation and you have to come for the visa in Ghana. Okay. So all the High Commissioners have okay. their representatives okay. in okay. Ghana. And as uh, His Highness said earlier, okay. we gone through elections and there is no fear of panic okay. in Ghana. Okay. We have uh, Ablon from okay. Ahmedabad okay. uh, operating in Ghana. Uh, we have Flourish. There's okay. one man in Ahmedabad called Mr. Hamda. 
okay. he owns a lot of businesses in Ghana. Okay. Uh, still, the biggest store industry in Ghana okay. is owned by an Indian. Okay. And there is that protection. Okay. Just somewhere last year, the president of India, that was the first time we even got to know there is a president of India. He visited Ghana. Okay. Everybody knows of the prime minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the president. Last year, one of my friends is a minister in uh, central government. Mm. He came over there. In, in, in the, 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 the opportunity over there. Yeah. Mr. Mohan Bhai was coming over there. Okay. Right? Now, so, and uh, the prince of uh, Rajkot yeah. is meeting us. Yeah. so that he can arrange some other royal families with some investors okay. to also visit Ghana. Okay. So we will take this uh, opportunity to discuss with you, have okay. a meeting with him, that at uh, any time that they want to have that collaboration, you yeah. either you or any of your representatives sure, sure, sure. can be on that delegation sure, to, Ghana sure, sure. to physically exploit sure. the opportunities there. Sure, sure. It's a very huge opportunity. Yes, and, uh, okay. We uh, think over there, we can get very huge potential is there. Sure. Right? Sure. Uh, um, other thing is that, uh, for example, people are coming over there. And what is the visa situation is there? Visa is on arrival or how? There is uh, procedures of obtaining visa internationally. Okay. okay. Uh, we in our office have. Uh, Giving visa on arrival to okay, a lot of arrival. Indians, okay. but uh, you need an invitation from a Ghanaian. Okay. And if it is an Indian, you need an invitation from an Indian who has the resident permit, has met all the requirements. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, if you apply to the office in uh, Delhi, okay. draw an invitation and the supporting document, it's okay. easy to obtain. Okay. When we were coming to India, right. We had a challenge at the consulate. Okay. But when we called the first secretary as AGI, right. he just said, Yes, this is AGI, give it to them. Okay. So it is per who you are, yeah. what you want to come and do. Yeah. So if you are going through the right channel, uh, visa uh, and all those things are not an issue. Okay. Those gentlemen who visited us last yeah. year yeah. went through Guinea, Senegal, Liberia before Ghana. Yeah. And their comment was, if they had not come to Ghana, they wouldn't have ever come back to Africa. Yes. Because the hospitality they received in those countries yes, yes. were not encouraging. Yeah, yeah. But when they got to Ghana, they saw sure. it. They sure. came to 360 yeah, degrees yeah. round. Right, right. And we have to travel close to 120 kilometers to visit Ghana. We spend the whole day okay. with him. They travel through the jungles around oh, the city, yes. Yes, yes, and they've been impressed. And they have initiated this arrangement for us to also uh, visit uh, Rajkot. Rajkot, yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, what's your uh, mm. tropical foods? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know uh, <laughs> there are many foods, and uh, okay. if you mention the names, you will not know. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we we will we will try rice, to we will try to understand that. Rice, <laughs> rice is there. Yeah. Everybody okay. eats rice. And all your yeah. yeah. uh, vegetables too. We have okay. them there. Okay. What is your maize? Maize, your using maize? Yes, maize. Yes, yes. Yeah. we yeah. use maize a lot. Okay. It, it's one of our big crops that we deal in Ghana. There is something we call cassava. Okay. In South India, they call it tapioca. Okay. Yes, we, yes. we have it's that. Mocha, mocha, we have talked about the staple foods in Africa, the yeah. mocha is there. Yeah, we have potato, we have yeah. cocoa, we have plantain, you call it banana. Yeah. We have two types, banana and the plantain. Okay. And uh, I mean, just that we are liberal, we okay. eat anything, and okay. you are vegetarians. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, and what's about the uh, scope for tourism? For it's, tourism? It's uncountable. And that is the reason why uh, His Highness is also here. Okay. Uh, the tourism site has not been developed. Yeah. They have but you have the resources out there. Yes. Exactly. There are beaches, beautiful beaches. Beautiful beaches. 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 We beaches. have beautiful waterfalls. Yeah. We have the monkey sanctuary where you go, you see monkeys okay. around. We have a crocodile. We yeah. have a, a, a walkway in the forest. Okay. I mean, we have a forest reserves. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can. Yeah, a lot of them. We have the stadiums. Soccer stadiums. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. 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 
We Ghana is counted among the best uh, soccer nations yes, in yes, yes. Africa yeah. and around the world. Yeah, the main sports is soccer. Football, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what do you think that uh, once Ghana will win the uh, World Cup of Soccer? <laughs> oh, the potentials are there. We only have some uh, little politics in the football yes. where. Uh, sure, sure. The coach, coaches will not select the right people to play. Yeah. That is why every year Ghana, in the African Cup of Nations, Ghana, the minimum state you get to is the quarterfinals. Okay. Just last two weeks ago, we went to the semifinals and yeah. played the third and fourth and lost to Burkina. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, and when Ghana has the potential, just that uh, the players... Even the World Cup last four years, we reached the quarterfinals. Yes. So we we have very good uh, potentials in uh, football. We have very young, dynamic footballers. Uh, we had an Indian from Kerala who yes. visited Ghana and wants to recruit the young and yes. energetic youth to come and school in Kerala so that they can play for their teams and get some education from Kerala. And for uh, local people, yes. which are the area where they are uh, maintaining their livelihoods and uh, everything, <coughs> the life and lifestyle and how they are managing local people over there? In, in Ghana, we across the capital, surrounded with Tema as the industrial city. We have Takrade in the south, also an industrial city. We have Kumasi in the middle belt okay. as the second largest city okay. uh, with the best uh, tradition in the world, known by everybody. Okay. It is in a central region where a fetish priest okay. was able to conjure a golden stool from the skies. Okay. A stool dropped from the skies, okay. which is still sitting down as an ancient stool for everybody to see. There are some few slums, there are few slums within Accra and within the countryside where the government has given the opportunity for investment investors to come in and help develop. We have the railway network in Ghana, but it is just along the coast. Okay. Now we have formed a railway ministry and we want to expand railway across Ghana, even to the north of Ghana. Okay. So if you pick within the West African right. sub region, right. Ghana is fast developing. Then we can be made. Fast you have to use resources out of there. Yes. You have the reason. Yeah. Once proper way to explore all that and uh, need some infrastructure over there so that uh, you will definitely grow very fast. Sure.